Hey guys, it's Peggy Davis 3. I am a tester here on Test.io, just like you, and I'm going to show you a program called Screencast-O-Matic. There are two versions of Screencast-O-Matic, and one of them is free, and then there is a paid version as well. So you use this program to record your bugs. So let's go look at that, dig into it, as it were. So you go on this page here, Screencast-O-Matic, uh, dot com forward slash screen recorder and there's an orange button here the first time uh, when you click on this orange button it's going to want to download a little tiny program to your computer and you will do that and you will install it next time when you click the orange button this dialogue happens um, see this is this is a dialogue bo box that happens the first time anyway I already have it so also, I have the paid version, so mine doesn't quite look the same as uh, if you get the free version, but I'll, I'll tell you what the differences are. Anyway, so, I uh, guess, allow that. Yeah, I'm going to allow that. And then, after a second, all right, there it is. It popped up eventually. I just had to wait a while. Um, because there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on in my system right now, so it normally would come up a lot quicker. You can, on the free version, change this into a different uh, microphone, internal microphone, or um, a external microphone. But nine times out of ten, or maybe ninety-nine times out of a hundred, you're going to want none, unless you are recording a usability test where you're giving comment in, on a website and recording your voice much as I am doing now. So click on none and that is it for your preferences screen. Uh, you'll never want the web camera and uh, or both. I mean not not for a test IO maybe for something else that you're doing some some YouTube blogging. Okay so you click on the record button down there and it is recording three two one and I'm on the wrong page so I'm gonna get off this page I'm going to go to the page where my issue is where my actual issue is and uh, keep all your devices updated everyone so now that's my issue I've done it whatever it is very valuable bug and now I'm going to click the word done here and this window will pop up and it will not look exactly like this on the free version but one thing that you can do on the free version as well as the paid version um, is you can drag off the uh, the front of that so that when it starts it starts with your actual bug and not on that uh, other screen that we had up there so just do that and that's great and now you're going to save it because that's about all you can do on the free version the other uh, difference also is that there's a watermark down here on the bottom and helpfully on the free version it tells you all the stuff that you could do if you had the paid version uh, click to p uh, pay for the version you can get rid of the watermark and um, some other stuff that I'm going to show you how to do. So save it. You only have one uh, type of file that you can make. There's not a larger file or a smaller file. It's just one. I think the smaller file. You can name it um, whatever you want to. Something cool and you can tell it what folder to go to by hitting browse. Mine is always going to the desktop because I can never find anything and if it's on the desktop I know where it is. Uh, the other thing that you can also do on the free version is you can have the cursor on or off which means uh, you see this little yellow circle if you turn it off no cursor it will go away 
But I like to have the cursor because it shows what I'm doing and you'll see that on other people's videos and you're like, how did they do that? Well, they probably used Screencast-O-Matic. I bet. And then you can hit publish and it's going to the desktop and we shall see how big it is. So one of the advantages to using Screencast-O-Matic versus like QuickTime Player or Snagit or something like that is you don't have to recompress the file because it makes a pretty small file. So you don't really have to do anything um, extra like you do with some other programs. Anyway, so we can open that up. So you want to stay under a minute and you want to be under 100 megabytes and this is certainly well under 100 megabytes and well under a minute and it is an mp4 and so you have met your requirements for at least that part of your bug report now whether it's a bug or not that's a that's a another video all together isn't it so the free version is that and then I'll show you the uh, some differences in the paid version you launch it in a different way and also there's uh, another cool thing that you can do it'll be up here in your menu bar and you can um, take a screenshot which is cool from right up here because you need a lot of screenshots when you're reporting bugs so screencast-o-matic is this is the paid version you start it a little differently you hit record here but now this dialog that pops up in the uh, lower left hand corner is exactly the same um, with the exception of now you can record your computer sound um, in the preferences but again you probably don't need to do that so uh, click the narration to none click on record show your issue after your three, two, one, go. It's so exciting. What's gonna happen? Something. I don't really have an issue to show here. There's, there's nothing wrong with this particular page, but uh, there's me. That's me. So now I'm gonna hit the pause button here. That's gonna stop. I'm gonna click on done. The edit window pops up again. And I'll show you what you can do with the paid version uh, that's kind of cool. So, edit. And this window changes a little bit. You see my issue is 17 seconds long. If I did want to trim the front off of it, the default tool, I think. Well, it's the default tool is whatever you last closed it as. And there's a lot of tools, actually. So cut you can tell it's gonna cut it because it's red red for cutting just kidding well no I mean it is red for cutting but you know why um, and then the other thing that you can do also is uh, turn your cursor on or off captions I you, I mean you could use captions but you probably won't I never I never have uh, hundreds of issues and I've never put a caption on one of them on stills yes all the time but not on a video so the other thing that you can do is kind of cool is under tools overlay blur um, if you have personal information that you want to get rid of this is the tool that you want to be using to do that. So you just put it over there and you tell it how long to be there. However long that stays up, that may be too long. And then you hit OK. And uh, it just honestly just takes a, a few times using this program and then you'll, you'll be as good as I am, which is good enough to put on my bugs. And so sometimes uh, if there's a lot of information that you want to put in and blur out, then you'd have several of these and sometimes they're stacked. And anyway, you can spend a lot of time uh, doing that. 
So maybe put in fake information if you can and not something that you have to blur out. So that's done and you go to save as a video file and on this version you have the lower or the higher you need the lower you need to call it something you need to know where it's going at least and probably have the cursor on I'd like to have the cursor on and then you just hit publish and you can do it in the background on the paid version it might not let me do it now because I have a couple different things going on Normally, it'd have a window that says publish in the background, but I guess I can't do that right now. So we, I'm going to the desktop. This is where the file was going from the browse. And we'll see how big it is. It's going to be just as small as the something cool file that we made from the free version. But the blur will be there and also the watermark will be gone and it will tell you on the free version if you want to get rid of the watermark go ahead and buy it so you can or not or whatever you want to do but it's the free version is good enough for most applications okay so it's there and you see it's a very similar size to the other one and that is all